Amigos de Urbana Play, el gran director James Gunn, quien ahora dirige el Escuadrón Suicida de Suicide Squad, se sentó a hablar en exclusiva sobre su última película, nos cuenta un montón de cosas, incluso habla de Mafalda. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? Hi, James. How are you? Hey, Matias. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thank you, thank you. I really love the movie, man. Congratulations. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Man. The other day you said that the superhero movie genre had to bring other elements to survive. What elements would you be, in your opinion? Um, you know, I think that, you know, there needs to be, and I don't even really think this is a, a something about the superhero movie. I think this is something about the spectacle movie in general. I think that there have been... Um, You know, obviously theaters, a lot of people are choosing to see moderately budget movies at home and streaming services are making moderately budget movies. So basically people are going to the theaters to see big budget tentpole films. And I think for the theaters to survive, those movies need to take some more chances. They need to widen their horizons a bit, um, be a little bit less, you know, cookie cutter, three act structure be, you know, just be a little bit more like some of the blockbusters from the 70s, whether it was Rosemary's Baby or The Exorcist or, you know, the Godfather films that were really taking risks, even though those were huge, huge movies that were huge hits across the world. Um, so I think it's about just allowing more types of movies to, to come into play with more different tones uh, than what is happening right now for movies to really survive in theaters. Speaking of budget, uh, 15 years ago, you produced a short film from a friend of mine for $50 <laughs> here in Argentina. And now you make this million dollar movie. What do you say to the James Gunn of the past? <laughs> well, I think that, you know, I listen, I always wanted to make big movies. I just know you got to start at the bottom, man. You got to start at You know, I was making web series for, you know, 500 bucks a piece. I made a movie with my ex for $1,500, the whole movie. So I think that starting in low budget, you really learn how to, you know, start to exercise your craft and learn the basics that way. What, uh, okay. What did you choose Corto Maltese for this? Um, Corto Maltese. Well, you know, one of the things I love about DC is they have, you know, they have, Every place is fictional in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in DC Comics, you know, whether it's Metropolis or Gotham mm -hmm. or Corto Maltese. Corto Maltese is uh, based on, a, you know, it's Frank Miller, actually. It was the first one to use it in The Dark Knight. And it didn't have many defining characteristics in the comics. So, you know, using a, 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 a fictional island off the coast of, your country, Argentina, yeah. um, with a lot of Ar uh, lots of Argentinian influences. Um, mm -hmm. The people who are trying to speak Ar Argentinian Spanish, but who are actually from Brazil and Mexico yeah. and Spain and, Port you know, everywhere else. Um, you, put, uh, you put a little Mafalda, don't you? Oh, a little Mafalda. Yeah, Mafalda's in there, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, I think that, you know, what we did is it's an amalgamation of different Latin cultures, but the predominant one is Argentina. Like, that's the predominant culture that we use because it's so close to Argentina in my brain map. Um, and, Maf you know, Mafalda is, of course, an Argentinian uh, icon. And so having her in there is pretty fun. Okay, thank you. Last question to wrap. Um, what other DC Comics movie would you like to, to do? I, I have a, a perfect pitch for you. I What mean, is it? The Lesion, man. You yeah. have to do a Lesion movie. If that would be a fun one. I've thought about it before. I will admit I've considered it. It's a big one. Um, I don't know. I think really I've got a, I'm finishing up Peacemaker now, which is mm -hmm. yeah, know, yeah. For this movie. And then I'm going on to do Guardians 3, which I'm also working on now. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to do after that. But I know I'm going to take a nap before I do anything. And then we'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for bringing Starro to a movie. I, You're welcome. I, thank you so I love much. It. I don't want to do your I love the rain. It's like angels are splooching all over us.